Hello everyone. Now we had understood that how do we calculate the resistance when resistors are in series. So let's try to find out that how do we calculate equivalent resistance when resistors are in parallel. So we already know that how do we connect resistors in parallel. We take the required amount of resistors and then connect their ends and finally connect the ends to the terminals of the battery. So this type of arrangement we get when we connect resistors in parallel. Now we had known that the voltage across the resistors is same. So let's say that the voltage across R1, R2, R3 is V. So this will be the voltage equals to the battery voltage. Now if we look at the current, the current I will start from here and when it will reach the junction, it will divide. This we had seen earlier. The electrons divide in each resistor. So the current will divide. I1 will go in R1, I2 will go in R2 and let's say I3 will go in R3. So when they will again reunite and get the current I. So finally, uh, I current will be flowing through this path. Now let's try to find out that how do we calculate equivalent resistance in this case. Now we can write down that the total current I will be equals to sum of all these currents because this I had broken down into I1, I2 and I3. So I1, I2, I3 will combine to form I. So we can write down that I will be equals to I1 plus I2 plus I3. And now we can apply Ohm's law for resistance R1, R2 and R3 and find out the current I1, I2 and I3 in the form of R1, R2 and R3. So Ohm's law is V equals to IR. So we have to find I. So I will be V upon R. So let's apply Ohm's law for resistance R1, R2 and R3. So if we apply for R1, this will be I1. I1 will be equals to voltage is V and resistance is R1. Now we can apply the same for R2 as well. So let's apply it for R2. So this will be I2 will be equals to voltage is again same since resistors are in parallel. This will be R2 and similarly we can apply for R3 as well. So for R3, I3 will be equals to again voltage is same V upon R3. Now if we suppose that in place of these three resistors in parallel, let's assume that there was only a single resistor and that resistor flows the same current when connected across the battery. So we can say that the combine of these three resistors will make a single resistor and let's say that its resistance is Rp since resistors are in parallel. So let's apply Ohm's law for this resistance Rp. So for Rp we apply current I since total current is I will be equals to applied voltage is V and resistance is Rp. And let's say that this equation is equation number 1 and let's put all these values in equation number 1. So let's put it. So I is V upon Rp will be equals to V upon R1 plus V upon R2 plus V upon R3. Now if you observe that if I take V common from, from all these terms, this V will get cancelled. And what will remain? 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. So this will be there. So we can take V common and then V will get cancelled in both the sides and will remain 1 upon Rp equals to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. 
so we can write down 1 upon rp is equals to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 so you can see that we had calculated the equivalent resistance when the resistors are in parallel now just suppose that there are many resistor in place of three resistor let's say that there are n resistors so you can do the same thing you can apply the same method the current will be i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus dot 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 in then we can follow the same procedure we can apply the ohms law in all the resistances individually you will find out that the i1 will be equal to v1 sorry v upon r1 i2 will be v upon r2 then i3 will be v upon r3 and so on i n will be equal to v upon r n then again we can apply the same relation this so this will be v upon r p will be equal to v upon r1 plus v upon r2 plus v upon r3 dot 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 plus v upon r n and then again we will get cancelled and finally the result will come out to be 1 upon r p equals to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 dot 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 plus 1 upon r n so by looking at this relation we can say that the reciprocal of the equivalent resistance is equals to the sum of reciprocal of individual resistance so let's try to apply this concept in some questions so let's try to understand with the help of this question now this question says that we have three resistors whose values are 5 ohms 10 ohms and 30 ohms and they are connected to a battery of 15 volts then we have to find out the current through each resistor the total current in the circuit and finally we have to find out the total circuit resistance or equivalent resistance so if we look at this case we will find out that let's say that current some current i is flowing in the circuit so when this current will reach at that junction it will get three paths and it will get divided in all the three resistances let's say that i1 is flowing through r1 i2 is flowing through r2 and i3 is flowing through r3 now since the current is dividing in all the resistances so we can say that these resistances are in parallel so the voltage these three resistances will be equals to the battery voltage so this will be equals to v now we can solve it very easily so the value of r1 is given to be 5 ohms r2 is 10 and r3 is 30 similarly we can the mark the value of v v is given to be 15 volts and now we can find out the value of current through each resistor i1 i2 i3 by using ohm's law so according to ohm's law v is equals to ir but we have to find the value of i here so i will be v upon r so we can find out the value of i1 i2 and i3 by using ohm's law so let's find out first i1 i1 will be equals to the voltage across r1 is v and current sorry the resistance through of r1 is r1 only so i1 will be equals to v upon r1 the value of v is given to be 15 volts and r1 value is 5 ohms so this comes out to be we calculate 5 threes are 15 so this will be 3 amperes similarly we can find the value of i2 as well by using the ohms law i2 will be equals to v upon r2 this time so this will be v is 15 15 volts and the value of r2 is 10 ohms so this is 10 ohms so we get 1.5 amperes similarly we can find the value of i3 as well so i3 will be equals to v upon r3 put the values v is 15 volts and r3 is 30 ohms so this will be 30 and if we calculate 15 
this will be 1 upon 2 and we calculate 1 by 2 it's 0.5 so this will be 0 0.5 amperes this is how we had calculated the current in all the three resistors the next part is the total current in the circuit now if you look at this total current is only divided into i1 i2 i3 so if we sum i1 i2 and i3 we will get the total current so i will be equals to i1 plus i2 plus i3 so we have to add up these three values so just add up this will be 3 plus 1.5 is 4.5 plus 0.5 is 5 so this will come out to be 5 amperes now lastly we have to calculate the total circuit resistance now this can be calculated in two ways first way is we had found out the total current in the circuit we know the total circuit voltage so we can apply the ohm's law to find the circuit resistance how can we do that r will be equals to v upon i so we can divide this v by this i and get the equivalent resistance so this will be r will be equals to v upon i let's say this r to be rp since this is the equivalent resistance of resistors in parallel so v is 15 and i we had calculated to be 5 so this comes out to be 3 ohms so this was first method since we had calculated the total current so we can easily calculate equivalent resistance we can also get the equivalent resistance by applying the same formula which we had calculated just now so it was rp sorry 1 upon rp is equals to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 and if we put the values 5 10 and 30 in 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 then we can easily get the value of rp as this 3 ohms so in this case since we knew the total circuit current then we can easily found out the equivalent resistance but if we don't know the total circuit current then we will apply this formula only which is 1 upon rp is equals to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 and put the values of r1 r2 and r3 and then solve it to get the value of rp so mostly we will be applying the second formula to find out the equivalent parallel resistance.